Ambassador, to you and to the viewers. Now, we understand uh, Khodisa Supplier Development Fund, it's a private-public uh, uh, partnership, but could you elaborate and tell us a bit more about it? Ayanda, it's a, it's a really um, exciting venture between the public sector and the private sector. Our challenge in South Africa is to bring more South Africans into business, and you've got to start with small businesses. But they've got two big challenges. On the one hand, getting funding to get their businesses started. And on the other hand, getting orders. Uh, in other words, having a market for the goods or services that they render. And through the Khodisa program, we think we can bridge those two challenges. So what, the, what the announcement today yes. involves is a 165 million rand fund that is set up with contributions from the Small Enterprise Finance Agency, from Transnet itself, and from Anglo Zimela. So we, we come together, we each put in a bit of money, and we say let's now identify small businesses that can help to supply Transnet. Uh, my, uh, my uh, apologies, at least, for interrupting a little bit earlier. I wanted to, to ask you, uh, the, uh, the suppliers that you'll be working with, are they existing Transnet suppliers or uh, are they prospective clients? I under there are both um, existing suppliers that need to scale up to expand their businesses as well as new entrants. We, we want to focus on bringing more companies into Transnet supply chain. And what Transnet is undertaking in this partnership is that over the next seven years, it will make orders available to these companies. So they have a secure market. And what this fund will do is to ensure that through loans, through bridging finance, and perhaps even through a hybrid with some equity and debt, companies have capital. And so what we really can do with this program is indigenize and strengthen Transnet's uh, supply chain. Uh, the president in the State of the Nation address announced the big spending programs uh, for infrastructure. Uh, over the last five years, we've spent a trillion rand. Uh, over the next five years, we'll be spending more than a trillion rand. But we must make sure as we spend that money that more South Africans are brought into production, into manufacturing, that we expand not only our spending, but also the entrepreneurship levels in the economy. And how will you go about monitoring the, the spending of the finances, making sure that it's going to uh, um, the tasks that it's set out for? Well, there are two things. I mean, we, we'll have a committee that will monitor this and ensure that when companies apply that they meet the criteria. But there's one other part of the program that I think is really worth highlighting. 15 million rand of the, of the money will be set aside for mentorship, and for business development so that many small companies are led by young South Africans with great ideas, with energy, with passion, but not always with business experience. And through this program, we are going to be able to offer them that uh, coaching and that support that's needed. And of course, we will be monitoring the impact regularly. It's not an act of charity. It's a business proposition. It brings companies into Transnet supply chain, and it will help to make them more competitive. I under our plan is, this is a stepping stone for those same companies to be able to provide services or manufacture goods for uh, the private sector as a well, whole, not only for Transnet in the long term, and who knows, to export to the rest of the world. And to the viewer at home who's thinking, I'm interested in that, I want to get involved, how do they do that? Uh, you contact the Small Enterprise Finance Agency on its website, there will be some information, uh, or Transnet or Anglo Zimela, we'll be making an announcement later today in which we'll publicize how you can get hold of uh, the contact people for this program. And the criteria for those who wish to get involved? It's really, you've got to be a small business, you've got to be a black owned business um, to get uh, access to the CIFA fund. By the way, there is additional funding if you're not a small business, but you're black owned. And you've got to be somewhere you must be able to render a service to Transnet. So Transnet will be putting out um, uh, a, an alert on the kind of, some, some of it involves the manufacture of nuts and bolts. In other cases, it's the maintenance of trains. Um, so it's, it's a range of activities that can be covered by this. Transnet is one of the big spenders in the economy. And each of the areas that they're spending, we're going to be looking at how young South Africans, how ordinary South Africans, how small businesses can get to be part of the action, can help to grow this economy, can help to create jobs.
of course, as you've just mentioned, you're hoping that it will translate to job creation, boosting the economy. How does this um, a project feed into the broader SME development scheme? This is one element of a much larger program that government is um, undertaking now. We created the Small Enterprise Finance Agency about a year and a half ago. And I'm pleased to say that uh, to date it has committed uh, just over a billion rand in funding for small businesses. So we're stepping up the level of funding and through the Khudisa program we can make sure that more South Africans can access this. Um, Aside from this, it's also important in government to ensure that small businesses are paid on time. So we're driving the effort to pay companies, small companies, within 30 days. And of course, we want to remove unnecessary red tape and expand skills training for young entrepreneurs, for small businesses. So it's a, it's a consolidated package of interventions that we think will have a dramatic impact on the sustainability of small businesses. Minister, thank you so much again for your time. We hope to touch base with you a little bit later just to assess uh, the success of this project, perhaps in a few months' time, uh, just to uh, check in again on how things have gone. But that was, uh, Minister, just uh, giving us the details on Khudisa, uh, that uh, word meaning to grow, to expand, to develop. And uh, Minister Patel there just uh, giving us the details on how you can get involved, saying that all will be revealed a little bit later today. And what we'll do as Morning Live is to try and make those details available to you should you be interested in taking part.